Hi, my name is Tawny Chapman, and I am one of the artists whose work is showing in textures the history and art of black hair. Well, pretty much all of the work that I've been creating um, over the past five years um, has been heavily centered around uh, motherhood and the fact that I am a mother. Um, so my children inspire me to create the world that I want my children to grow up in. Um, and all black children to grow up in um, also is a big inspiration for me. Stories of black children being sent home from school or being unable to participate in uh, activities at school um, uh, because they were wearing their hair in natural black hairstyles, hairstyles we celebrate uh, in our culture and these kids are being told that they're unacceptable. And so I wanted to find a way to celebrate that. Um, also, some of the children that are close to me that are featured in my work also um, experience certain things um, due to society. And, and so uh, the work is, is I think more so coming from a standpoint of a mother wanting to protect um, black children and also celebrate our culture, our life, our love and our bonds. You know, I don't think I ever realize it as it's happening, um, but reflecting back and thinking back on the things that I did do as a child, you start to notice, oh, okay, especially with the, the work that I'm doing um, by combining various art practices, um, I start to realize these are all things that I did growing up. Um, I've always been a creator and I've always been into the arts in some way or another. So I definitely think that um, um, these things play a part, whether I was cutting out magazine clippings and creating or making paper dolls or um, designing my own clothes or sitting on my mom's work computer, uh, 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 messing around in uh, Microsoft Paint. I also think that um, living in Germany and our um, field trips during that time when we did live in Germany were to castles and, and things like that. So I think that some of those things that we saw inside the castle uh, stuck in, in my subconscious and, and made its way into my work. So I definitely do think that those memories and hobbies um, all played a part in how I create today. Uh, one reason is the work itself is important to me. I, I, I think all artists are putting their thoughts and feelings and um, emotions into their work. Um, and so these are my thoughts, these are my feelings, these are my emotions. These are the people that I'm looking to protect. Um, some of the children, um, you know, I, I know that they've experienced certain things and I, um, wanted to find a way to celebrate them. The work is about love and, and I'm showing and um, working with the, the people that I love the most.
think I've navigated 2020 um, slowly, taking things day by day, um, getting off of the roller coaster when it all feels like too much, um, taking time for uh, emotional healing and kind of just uh, taking care of my family, making sure we're safe and taking everything uh, one day at a time. I've just been taking time to work on my new body of work, but this is allowing me the space and the time to do that. So there is an upside to um, what's happening right now in the midst of all the turmoil, uh, heartbreak, and devastation. I will be taking the idea that it's okay to slow down, just don't stop, keep going. In addition to um, this time uh, allowing me to reflect and think, you realize that you think you're small, you know, you don't, you don't know how big each human is. And everything we do today affects tomorrow. That's one thing that I've realized, whether it be something really small that you do, a seed that you planted, something, everything affects tomorrow. Um, and I think that's something that is very important to remember that I will be taking with me in 2021.